What up everyone, welcome back to Blade Bias. Today we are going to take a look at my week with the Cycloid HD. My new favorite plastic ballast song from Zippy. It didn't necessarily make that top spot and we will go over the reasons why, but what I can say immediately is that this is not only Zippy's most premium feeling ballast song yet, but I think it is his best. The Cycloid V2 was already very, very good, and a design that I sung the praises of when I first got it a few months back. And this improves on it in basically all the ways that I really wanted to. Um, there are a few ways that aren't improved, or get a little worse, and there are a few ways that they not much really change, which is a little annoying, but this is a really, really, really fun ballad song. So, I mean, obviously, you know, Cycloid V2, it's got this, it's got the spacers, and it's so cool. I've been rocking just the three discs, um, but what I'm going to do for the purpose of this video, which again, it'll become apparent why in a little bit, is I'm going to put one ball in each for, uh, for reasons. Again, we'll get into it later. So, it's just such a cool weight system. Like, I really just can't get over how cool the weight system is. And then combine that with the fact that now the handles actually have some weight in them, making the whole ballast song just feel more distributed. It's now also channel, meaning that you're not really dealing with the... Um, you're not really dealing with, like, all of the, the weight going all over the place. And what am I talking about? All the, the sandwich part portions going all over the place, and it just, like... It's just easier, it feels better, and the fact that the channel allows it to feel far more premium and durable, which Zippy has never had a problem with durability, really. I think for a long time he's made some of the most durable plastic ballast songs out there, but this is just, this is another level. Um, probably my favorite thing about it is the material. The material feels very, very, very premium. Um, Zippy and I, I've had a weird relationship with Zippy. Not the man, the myth, the legend himself. I love Zippy. I love that guy. But the products in general. Because the Cycloid, the original Cycloid, being one of the first people to ever receive one, was a ballad song that I really liked back in the day. And nowadays it doesn't flip bad. It's just a bit too handle biased, but it doesn't carry the most momentum, and it just feels a little bit weird. But one thing I've always loved was the feel in the hand. Especially back then when it was competing with something like the OG Tay Flipper, it had the most premium feel in the hand that I think the plastic 3D printed community had at the time. Um, but he transitioned to a different material, the material that the Cycloid and like the Zippy or the Zipper V2 was made out of. And it just doesn't feel as premium. I know it is premium because it's very durable. I put my Cycloid V2 through its paces and it has not had any issues. Um... But, you know, it's kind of like a Nautilus. It's like the G10 of the Nautilus just makes you feel like it's a little bit cheap feeling in the hand. Like it doesn't have that premium feel in the hand. Um, but the Cycloid HD fixes all that. Now the durability and the feel in the hand are largely the same. Because I know this thing is a tank. And it feels like a tank. It feels premium. It definitely feels like Zippy's most premium product that he has put out, I would say, ever. Um, it just it feels very, very nice. The little fabric-y feel of it is a little weird for, like, extended chaplains. But, unfortunately, extended chaplains aren't <laughs> really the best on this thing, as that is my biggest problem with the Cycloid HD. Even with... If even with more weight in the handles than I'm really interested in having, um, I prefer it without those two balls that I just put in, but I have to put them in there because the Chaplin experience without them is really bad. But even with them in there, it's just not the best. Um, it's just very, it's very inconsistent Chaplins, even when you do slower Chaplins. It's just like the the increased density of the handles themselves are really making themselves known because while it feels a little more distributed, it doesn't have the rear bias to it to keep the balisong going when you chaplain it. Either that or there's just a lot of pivot weight here. I'm not really sure. But what I do know is that chaplains aren't really there 
and also the pinching that I reported on the Cycloid V2, because I have very small fingers, is better, but it's not exactly fixed. Specifically in full twirls, I feel a lot of it from the tang cups. Your finger gets in here and it just pinches in that little tang cup and it's just mm, full twirls right here. Your, my finger gets in there, it gets pinched a little bit. I've also even felt pinching sometimes in my ring finger chaplain that I do. In fact, right now I can feel my finger scraping across the Zen cup. It doesn't exactly feel the best. It's not the worst by any means, and I think it is improved over the Cycloid V2 because the V2 was more pinchy than this. But it is still a problem that I've been having. Uh, and I think that's just because of my small fingers. I know some people have never had a problem, even with the original Cycloid V2. So chalk that one up to tiny person hands and call it a day. But overall, I quite enjoyed my week with the Cycloid V2 HD. This is just a really super sick balisong. Like, this is a super sick plastic balisong. The fact that it's channel and it has this really cool weight system... And it feels more premium than ever, and it just is more premium than ever. Like, this is the kind of thing that if you have a V2, I would recommend upgrading, honestly. Um, it's, it's super sick. I think if the Chaplains could be made a little bit better, it might even become my first or second favorite Plastic Ballast song. But right now, I think it does sit a little bit below the tape flipper for me. Um, I know in the original video, I said it might take up it might take the top spot, but unfortunately, as I've been flipping it over the week, the chaplains have just been really getting to me. It's the same reason why, like, for me personally, the Vulp doesn't really work the best. Because the Vulp also has an inconsistent chaplain. Um, still a great beginner ballast song and all that, but, you know, the chaplain experience isn't the best. And that's kind of how I feel about the Cycloid HD. It's not enough to make me dislike it. I still flip my Vulp. I still like my Vulp. And I would, if I had one, flip the Cycloid HD a lot, actually. This would be like a perfect public flipper. But it's just those chaplains that keep it from hitting my absolute top spot in the plastic market. Because um, you just go and pick up like a Calico. And while it does, it does feel like... It feels less premium, but that chaplain just sticks, and it's like, mm, that feels a little bit better. So, that's a Cycloid HD. I think Zippy, honestly, you did a fantastic job on it. I think it's really great. I really enjoy it. I enjoy the premium feel of it. I enjoy the ingenuity of it, but I've already gushed about that in my Cycloid V2 videos. This is just a straight up upgrade to the Cycloid V2 and I very much so enjoy it. So yeah, thank you all for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.